What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super simple video for you on grabbing your token out of Discord. Now quick word of warning, do not share this token with absolutely anyone. Having access to this token means that someone has complete access to your account. Now why exactly would you need this? Well, if you're making some kind of user-controlled bot, which is against Discord's terms of service, or you're using it in an open source tool, preferably that you can look through yourself and verify it's safe, that possibly goes ahead and deletes a bunch of messages on your account, or it goes ahead and downloads a bunch of messages off of your account. For those two methods, it's probably more than safe, but really, whatever you do with this, make sure you trust where you're gonna share the token first before you actually share it anywhere or put it anywhere. With that very simple but very important word of warning out of the way, let's continue with the video. How exactly do you get your Discord account token out of Discord? Well, of course, doing it inside of a browser like Google Chrome or Firefox will basically be exactly the same as doing it inside of Discord, though in the Discord app, you'll need to enable developer mode in order to bring up the developer console. Though I'll be doing it through Google Chrome just because it'll be a bit easier. Heading across to discord.com and clicking open, and I'll see my account as such. Of course, it's recommended that I go ahead and download the app, but I'll be using it through the browser. So first of all, when you have Discord open, so what you need to do is hit Control shift i to bring up the developer console on the right-hand side of your screen as such. So there's two ways of doing this, one way which I've heard doesn't always work, and a second method which will work, but it's a bit more confusing. The first one is to head across to the Application tab, and you'll see this, Local Storage and Session Storage. Expanding both of them, you'll see Discord.com. Clicking on Local Storage, we'll see a bunch of details here on the right-hand side. Of course, I'm going to have to blur them out. If we scroll up and down this list or use the filter to search for token, we'll find absolutely nothing. Though, hitting Control F5 on our keyboard, we'll see our token over there. It shows up and it vanishes very quickly. If we head across to the Session Storage tab and do the same, Control F5, you'll see nothing pops up as a token. So, of course, the previous way that we used to do this was by grabbing it out of local storage. Though apparently this method has been fixed, or at least it's been harder to get your actual token through this method. So the second way is to head across to the network tab and you'll see a bunch of text over here. What I'm going to do is at the very top over here, you'll see filter. What we'll type in there is simply S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, science. Then we'll find probably one, two, or possibly more science entries and we'll simply click on the first one of them, making the side window a lot bigger we'll make sure that we're on the headers tab at the very top over here. Now, of course, I'll have to blur out most of this information. Upon scrolling down, we'll get to a header called request headers. Scrolling down further, we'll eventually find authorization. This is your Discord account token. Simply select all of it with your cursor, hit Control C to copy or right click copy and pasting it into a notepad file. I now have my Discord token over here for use. Though again, I cannot advise you how incredibly important it is to keep this absolutely private. This token gives people full access to your account, and even if I did fail to blur out something in this video, I have made sure not to show the entire thing, so that's that. Anyways, my name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, hopefully you found some use out of this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!